Not Who's Richard that? Ma- Why, Chris, who is it? <laughs> it's progressive talk host and Laverne to your Shirley, Randy Rose. Oh, get out of here! Good morning, precious. You're so needy. <laughs> God, are you needy? It's all about you. <laughs> oh, sure. Let me just explain the story for the listeners that haven't heard. So, okay. I had bronchitis, which my listeners know, for the last three weeks. I get a call at 5.30 in the morning oh, on the day I was to take Stephanie out to her fabulous New York dinner. And my ex-husband is sick, and he's in the hospital for the third time. And then Oh, I'm look sick. at you getting your we story out there meeting. first. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> we have a staff meeting at 11 o'clock. Okay, it's, it's just, everybody's walking around like zombies afterwards. Mm, I have mm, to do a show afterwards. Mm, mm. It was two degrees without the wind chill factor. Mm. And then Stephanie's like, okay, I'm over at the hotel and I'm getting really boozy, ready to go to dinner. I'm like, you know what, Steph? I'm cold. I'm yeah. not going. Uh, yeah, exactly. I got an email, oh, about 40 seconds before the dinner is supposed to be. Um, it's, I had to get up early and it's cold. I love, I love anyway, Randy. It's 17 after. Which I don't know why you put the time checks in emails. Yeah, 47 after, and at least I'm sober. You're just, <laughs> all right. You're just mad because I do a better Randy Rhodes than you do. Yeah, yeah. Would you That's like me to? Right. Would you, it, let's Steph. have a Randy Rhodes off. Here yeah, we go. We'll do it now. It. That's it. That's what makes it's, you so needy. Here we go. You do a better imitation of me all than right. I do. Check it out. Check it out. You can go. You can go second. <laughs> This Bush administration, it's unbelievable to me. The murderers, the war criminals, the liars. 17 after. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, now you try. <laughs> Stop it. Come on. Leave me be. <laughs> so, now we got into a giant chick fight. Well, I, I admit it. You know, chicks, we remember everything. I write you this big, long email, and then the one time, I remember the one time you blew me off. <laughs> oh, you know, she writes me this email about how she offers to give me, check this out, a dinner party for a trip I'm not even going on. <laughs> so now she expects that I should, over the weekend, fly to L.A., have dinner at her fabulous dinner party that she's going to have for me, and then I should fly home. You but I wasn't even you, coming to We LA. love you in L.A. You were supposed to come. Going to Costco, <laughs> buying hors d'oeuvres by the, you know, by the, the, the freaking pallet load. <laughs> we're supposed now, to. Tell, you, want, you want to mock me? Yes. Tell the Martin Sheen story. Oh, uh, Martin Sheen got uh, uh, Randy and I confused at a dinner party. He was going on and on and on. And then he said in the afternoon. And I'm like, oh, afternoon. That's not me. That's the other whore. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he remembered the real war, didn't he? <laughs> Martin right. Sheen was having the best time at one of uh, her little I have to be there kind of, please notice me, I'm Stephanie, please notice me. Look, I'm with I'm, the Hollywood A-list this yeah. year, notice me. No, I'm never, it was a disaster. I'm never going out again. I was going out again. message on my machine this weekend, and she said, okay, you have to call me now because Martin Sheen thought I was you, and he was really excited okay. until he found let out me, I was. First of all, <laughs> when I say call Randy, let me explain for a minute what a freak Randy Rhodes is about the phone. So, is she only, we've been friends, what, two years? She just now gave me her phone number. That was the other thing. I would have been sitting in a restaurant in New York with my thumb up my ass okay. and not being able to call her because she didn't give me her friggin' number like she's Amish or something. I'm like, what, what happens if you use the phone? I don't like it. <laughs> Anyway, so I finally, I finally have her phone number, which is probably going to be a big mistake on your part. Uh, and already, listen, this is why Stephanie never got my phone number. I know Stephanie; she's right for two years. I give her my phone number over the weekend. Two needy psycho messages. Right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. See, you're, you're Stephanie. I, dr- I drunk dialed you. <laughs> well, our relationship, as our I listeners know, hour long message. All right. How she needs and needs and uh, me, me, I need, I want, I have to have that. Oh, shut up, you hoa. Um, our, as you know, as the listeners know, our relationship up till now has consisted of a long uh, string of insulting emails to each other that mostly revolve around us questioning each other's personal freshness. <laughs> that cannot be read on the air, not for the kids. But anyway, we're... But see, we've had our first fight, and I feel so much closer to you and now. And I want to know, where's the makeup sex? <laughs> oh, hello. I, our, you know what? Just like you, you our do love, the fighting, but you don't do the makeup sex, so you what know, kind of a date would you be? Listen, here's what I'm thinking, because you and I... <laughs> but of course I know. What you, kind of date would she be? You and I both hoas, and you know <laughs> yeah, all about the... put out. <laughs> here's... Well, I called you back this weekend. The first thing out of my mouth was, don't you ever get laid? <laughs> <laughs> She's upset because I'm not home on a Friday night. 
in, you, well, in your apology on your show Friday, you did offer to hump my leg, and I passed because our love is too spiritual for that. However... No, no you passed because you don't put out. <laughs> That's the deal. Listen, we are both business women. Here's what I'm thinking. You and me, here we go. Next yeah, time we have a fight, next, a next time we have a fight, yeah. here's what we do. Uh, pay-per-view, right. we reenact the Alexis and Crystal fight in the, in the mud pit, in the beaded gowns. Only if there's sex. There's, there's makeup <laughs> I'm telling you, men would pay cash money to see us make up next time. Yes, I mean, I'd pay cash money to see us make up next time. <laughs> and then she tells me, well, okay, next time, you know, I, I wouldn't have asked you to do a threesome because I knew you had bronchitis. And I said to her, you know what, Steph, even on my worst day, I could be a bottom. <laughs> <laughs> this is this has devolved into once again the not for the kids segment of the show. Yeah. Well, AM radio generally is not. Okay. Uh, all, right. Yeah, all right. I love you more than life I itself. I love you more than air. I can't breathe without you. Me neither. I miss you well, already. It's like it's like oxygen, but I get too much. I get too high. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cross me again. I will bitch slap you into the middle of next week. I love you. Like I love you too, Lavoine. Bye. Bye, honey. There she goes. Randy Rhodes. My Laverne.